This is supposedly the night of the creeps alley. Looking around, trying to match shit up. What happened to the building at the end if this is the alley? And down here, let's see. Maybe the end of the alley was another location. Oh shit, there it is. Holy crap. It's right there. Get the 12 gauge out of my car. Now. So you might be wondering, hey Sean, didn't you already do an episode of Night of the Creeps? The answer is yes. For the Blu-ray release, I did do an episode, but this one location really eluded me, and I asked Fred Decker, and he said he thought it was in Van Nuys somewhere, but could not remember where it was. Well, finally, we found it, with some help from fan Paul Hollinshead. Without him, we wouldn't have been able to find it. So you see right here where they're running in the alley. That building that was there where that white truck is is gone. If you look over the shoulder of the police officer, you can see the apartment building in the background. That still matches up today. And the building here they're passing has been stuccoed, so the brickwork looks different, but you can see the garage doors are still the same. And the telephone pole's still there. We're in Van Nuys. It's off of Vesper in between Sylvian and... I forgot the name of the other street. But that's Vesper right there. And uh, Sylvian is the very next street, which would be in front of this building here. The thing that always confused me about trying to find this location was I was looking for an alley with a dead end. Because if you see the way it's shot, it looks like they pull in and see the cop runs forward like he's looking forward. And they show him through the windshield of the cop car right there. But that's not forward. That would be to their left. So they cheated the shot. However, when Tom Atkins jumps over the fence, he's kind of looking in the right direction. See, it's really strange. I don't know if that was an error. That would be a question for Fred Decker. But as you can see, the cop car comes from down this alley here, heads towards camera. The cops then run along this fence here. And right about there is where Tom Atkins jumps over the fence and points in the proper direction if you were at the real location. But then they show everybody else from a different angle. They make it act like the alley ends right here and that we would be standing at the end of the alley, but as you can see, the alley continues. But if you come down here and turn, then boom, there's the building right there. So when they first show the cops draw their weapons, they're actually up against this black wall here, which was brick, it's been stuccoed over. But then when it cuts back to them with their guns drawn, they're against a regular brick wall, which is this one here. Regular bricks that has been painted over. And then the confrontation takes place here. It's a shame that that little shed is blocking the building, but you can pretty much see it looks the same. The power boxes are still there on the wall, they're just painted a different color. And the windows of the building look identical to how they did in the film. So all the action happens here in the parking lot behind this building, which is accessible from the alley. This is the rear parking area of BTC Notification Services. This is the front here, located at 14540 Sylvian Street in beautiful Van Nuys, California. Now just next door at 14530 is this building that you can see in the prior scene when they find the axe murderer just before they chase him down the alley. And this guy gets away just in time. 